so first up we're going to create a new Google form to do that you can simply go to new scroll down more and right here at the top you have Google Forms and here we are so let's begin by titling the form say Google Certified Educator Form 1 now real quick you can add a theme to the form right here start with work in school select now as we begin we're gonna start by um, adding some questions so let's ask a, just a general question pretend we're asking this to a group of students what did you learn today and this is a paragraph type question you can make a short answer which will be a little bit smaller but paragraph is the right type of question there are other types of questions uh, checks box uh, uh, multiple choice drop down I'll do a multiple choice next and you also have the option here to duplicate this question delete it and make it required okay now this question is required so whoever takes this uh, whoever fills out this Google form has to so that's one type of question let's ask another type of question Who was the first president? Now this will be a multiple choice type question. If you want to have option one, you can go Abe Jefferson. Option three, George. And now we've added a multiple choice type question. Now Google Forms are also good for um, sending out presentations and, and things like that if you want to give somebody a rubric to judge a presentation. So let's move on to the next one. I'll make this required as well. And if you want to add another type of question, maybe let's say your students are, are reviewing a presentation of somebody in class. Here's your next question. And it, it's really not a question. Um, please. And notice it automatically changed to linear scale. So from 1 to 5. What do you want to label one? One could be poor. Five could be excellent. Um, you probably wouldn't want to use poor and excellent. You probably want to set uh, more specific criteria, but this is just something you can do. Now I want to add one more type of question. Describe what you learned in. And this automatically jumps to paragraph form, and you can insert videos into Google into uh, Google Forms. So you can actually insert a video. And if you take a look over here, you could add question, add title, add image, and add a video. So let's add a video. And this question's going to relate to what they learned in the video. So let's click the video. And we'll pick a video on cellular respiration. Let's say Khan Academy. Select. And now here's a question, right? Describe what they learned in the video below. And this is embedded into the Google form. Now, right now, I've created this form and I put some question in, questions in. But let's say you'd like somebody else to work on this form with you and be a collaborator on this form. So they can add their own questions, maybe a co-teacher. You're going to go up here. You're going to click on this More icon. And you're going to go down to Add Collaborators. And here you can add a collaborator. So invite somebody. So I'll scroll down a little bit. And who do I want to invite to collaborate on this uh, form? I'll, I'll send it. And here you grant them access. They can edit this form. Press send. And now take a look. This is a different email of mine. And it's uh, I'm now edited as a collaborator. Click done. Now let's say you would like to send this form out to have people um, fill out the form and uh, answer the questions. Then you're going to go to send. So I'm going to click click send and there's a bunch of different ways you can um, send out this form. You can do it by email. You can click in the person's name and press send. That's one way to do it. You can get a link. Here's a, here's a link to this form. Okay. You can also embed this form into a Google site. If you, you can even send it on Facebook and Twitter and social media. So let's say I want to send this out on Twitter. And then I can tweet. 
and I've just tweeted this form. Now, the way I'm going to uh, choose to share this form right now is I'm just going to get a link. Okay, if you see this link, it's very long, so I'll shorten this link. I'm going to copy it. And let's say you want to share this link to, to a number of individuals. Um, like I said, you could email, but we're going to share this link. So let's say you send it out and somebody pastes this link. And here's what it looks like. So I'm going to fill out some questions real quick. What did you learn today? Let's say photosynthesis. George Washington. And we'll rate this a 4. Here's your video. In you can see it's embedded. Opinion. And let's submit. Okay. Excuse me. Now let's say you want to view the responses. All you do is click on responses. And here they are. I've got two response. There are a total of three responses, two answers for photosynthesis, one for animal cells. Who was the first president? 66% of the students of the class picked George Washington, 33% Abe Lincoln. And if we rated the, the presentation, we got a three, a four, and a five. So that's one way to view responses. Now, it's very important here to determine um, your destination for these responses. So, so here you have your responses we see and where are we going to send them? So if you want to know where to send them you're going to click these three little dots right here and select response destination. So I can create a new spreadsheet and add them and it will be their own spreadsheet called a, a GCE form one with its own responses or I can say select an existing spreadsheet. Let's press select here. And let's say I pick a practice SAT scores, select, and now that's where it's been sent to practice SAT scores. Now, if I want to review and I want to view these responses in Google Sheets, now you want to use Google Sheets because you can analyze the data. I'm going to click this little thing right here, view responses in Sheets, and here they are. Notice it says practice SAT scores because this is where I sent it. If you look, it's part, it's just another page for the practice SAT scores. And here's your timestamp, your responses, and things like that. Now, let's say you want to send it to, um, you want to create your own, um, you want to create your own Google Sheet instead of linking it to practice SAT scores. I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to go back here, select response destination, and instead of selecting an existing spreadsheet, I'm just going to create a new spreadsheet. So let's go to create. It'll be called GCE Form 1. Create. Linking to spreadsheet. Now it's been linked. So now we're going to have our own brand new spreadsheet. Click here. And take a look what it's called. It's called GCE Form 1. So it's not, it's not part of the previous uh, practice SAT.